welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as electricity thief detection in smart grids based on deep neural network which is an IEEE journal paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project basically electricity theft is a global problem that is affecting the utility company all over the world what does this electricity theft means so the consumers generally want to use the energy without being billed by the utility company so they don't want to pay the money or the bill for the energy for the energy that they have consumed so for that they will be using this electricity theft because of this electricity theft the utility companies suffer a huge revenue loss this revenue loss will be directly impacting the consumers also as they they wanted they will be increasing the tariff prices of the energy also not only this the consumers also has some problems like like uh, elect electrical system overload and also like uh, public safety threats such as electric shock also because they don't know the amount of energy that they have used so for identifying this electricity theft detection there are various existing methods but which has some disadvantages also for that overcoming those things the machine learning based approach or the deep learning based approach is being implemented and in this paper the authors have implemented using the deep neural network and they have used bayesian optimizer and also they have employed the adaptive moment estimation optimizer to carry out the experiment using different values of the key parameters but we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper we are going to implement our proposed model using the artificial neural network ANN. So here we will be clustering the values that the target value will be the mean energy. So based on the algometric clustering we will be clustering that and then we will be labeling and we will be using the artificial neural network. So first let me show you the data set part so you can understand easily. So so the data set consists of this is the data set so this data set consists of the features like id day energy median energy mean max energy count energy standard deviation energy sum and energy minimization so here you can see there is no any label here so we need to create the label so for that purpose only we are using this algometric clustering and then based on that we will be labeling well uh, labeling as 0 or 1 and once if you scroll down and you can see the data set record is about 12,903 data set records so these are the data set that we are going to train up with and now we need to classify the data set into two that is 0 and 1 so here the authors have mentioned that as faithful and unfaithful customer so they have they have been targeting this as a customer class as faithful and unfaithful so zero means faithful and one means unfaithful so unfaithful means those are the customers who are engaged in the electricity theft so now let us see the execution of the project so before executing make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file by using the exact version of the python on the libraries that is mentioned in it and now let go to the command prompt now go to the source code location type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for few minutes so now you can see this url just copy this url Go to any of your browser i'm going to firefox and just paste this url and click enter 
and now you can see the home screen or you can screen the project with the project title electricity theft detection in smart grids based on deep neural network now you can just click this login menu and once if you click this login menu it will be navigated to the login page and kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click this login button and once the login is successful you can see the login success message and click ok now it will be navigated to the upload part where you need to upload the data set that we are going to train up the system so just go to the source code location where you can find the upload.csv file and then click upload and after some time it will be navigated to the preview part where you can see the data set that we have uploaded with so as I have shown you earlier, the data set consists of the attributes like ID, day, energy median, energy mean, energy max, energy count, energy standard, energy sum and energy minimum position. And if you scroll down the page and you can see the complete data set has been loaded into the preview part of this browser. So as mentioned earlier the data set consists of around 12,903 data set records and now just click this click to train or test button and after few seconds you can see the training finish message and click ok now it will be navigated to the important part that is the prediction part of this so where you need to enter the test case and find the prediction result whether it is faithful or unfaithful whether it is a normal one or a theft electricity usage of it so first let me show you with the few cases by entering the energy median value as 0 0.186374 energy mean is 0 0.252002 Energy max is 1.084564. Energy count with 48. Energy standard with 0 0.20751. Energy sum with 12.096094. And energy minimization as 0 0.077647. And let us check the prediction result for this by clicking the predict button and now you can see the predicted result is faithful that is a normal one there is no any problem in it and now let me click the prediction menu again to check with other case so let me enter the energy median as 0 0.531968 energy mean as 0 0.667153 energy max is 2.817762 energy count with 353.664803 energy standard as 0 0.537632 energy sum as 32.023365 energy min as 0 0.152265 now let us check the prediction result for this case and the predicted result is unfaithful so there is a electricity theft in this test data and now let me go to the prediction menu again to enter other case with the energy median as 0 0.169301 energy mean 0 0.396798 energy max is 1.867844 energy count with 48 energy standard with 0 0.480717 energy sum with 19.046328 energy mean as 0 0.054533 and now let us check the prediction result for this by clicking the predict button and the predicted result is faithful now let me click the prediction menu again to check with the final case with the energy mean value with 0 
6232238 energy mean with 1.178415 energy max was 7.98998 energy count 436.14082 energy standard is 1.666416 Energy sum is 56.563898 Energy min with 0 0.016102286 So let us check the prediction result for this by clicking the predict button and the predicted result is unfaithful So I have shown you a four case with two faithful and two non-faithful claims you can check with the other data set record that is available in the test data or the data set that we have trained up with so now let us move to the next part that is the performance analysis part so the performance analysis part consists of the performance analysis parameter like recall f1 impression value for the class 0 and 1 that we have done with it and then comes the confusion matrix with the label of the predicted on the, the expected values and now let me go to the chart part and kindly note that this is a static chart because we have not used any database in the project so this is a static chart that we have depicted from the data set that we have trained up with so which consists of 30 percentage of faithful data set record and 70 percentage of unfaithful data set record and now let me log out and this is all about the project electricity theft detection in smart grids based on deep neural network and thank you all for watching